sick. Live in a You can leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus now and leave. In his recording, in his words, hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus now and leave. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. Why don't you put your hands together and give him praise in the house of the Lord? Just put your hands together, give him praise one more time. Just give him praise one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. So, thank you so much. Worship us. What an awesome worship in this house. Just put your hands together and let's thank God for the worship as well. Asha, the ark of God. And we thank God for them. Put your hands together one more time. Let's thank God for them. Blessed be his name. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I want to take this time once again and welcome you all in that matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. I'm going, I'm going to ask my sound technician to leave it right there. I think the sound is good. Just leave it right there and the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. Are, are you in the house? Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can still praise the Lord through those face masks. And we can still lift up his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we have started with the declaration according to the directive of the Lord. Of a new season. A season of new beginnings. Therefore, I want to pick up from there and let's continue to build. We had an awesome service this morning in our express image service. Pastor Komoto further laid the foundation on this directive. Now, I want to say to you all the messages, all the teaching that we are doing here, you will find them on our social media platform. So we'll not have time to go back to what we have said on the previous meetings. So go with me then to the book of Genesis chapter number 1. I'm starting from verse number 14. The book of the beginnings. That's where we are starting. Hallelujah. 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 I want to welcome all the viewers that are even on social media. And I want to welcome all the visitors that are visiting with us for the very, very first time in this house. After this service, we are going to announce 
marriages and are going to bless others. Blessed be his name. Genesis chapter number one. I'm going to ask my interpreter to read it for me quickly then. From verse number 14 to 18. Bless his holy name. New King James Version. Yes. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and mm. let them be for signs. Somebody and say lights. That's right. Continue then. And seasons and for days and years. Mm. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. Yes. And it was so. Verse number 16. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. Mm. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. Mm. Verse number 18. And to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And God saw that it was good. Amen. The book of Psalms, chapter number 104, verse number 19. The book of Psalms, 104, verse number 19, yes. Read it for us, please. He appointed the moon for seasons. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. And the sun knows it's going down. Amen. Let's finish off the book of Job, chapter number 22, verse number 28 and 29. The book of Job, 22 chapter, verse number 28 and 29. And we close with that. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. You will also declare a thing. You will decree a thing. It doesn't matter what kind of thing, but you will say it. You will declare it and it shall be established. So light will shine on your ways. When they so that light for a lady can shine on your way. God made lights. And if you declare, light will shine on your way. Verse number 29. When they cast you down and you say, and you say, and you declare, when they are pulling you down, down, but then you declare. And you say exaltation. Exaltation will come. Exaltation will, will come. Then he will save the humble person. In other words, there is nobody that can cast you down. When you understand the seasons, nobody can cast you down. Because you have the authority to change seasons in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right there on Job, can we close with this one? Job 38, verse number 12. Let's close with that. Please. 38, verse number 12. Mm. You have commanded the morning since your days began and caused the dawn to know its place. Amen. Have you commanded the morning since your day began? That's the question that God asked Job. Have you commanded the morning 
Since your day began, have you instructed the day spring? And, and I'll just read the, the next verse. And let's pray. Read the next verse and we pray then. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth and the wicked be shaken out of it. Your commandment will give power to the morning. It will give power to your day spring to get a hold of the wicked and shake it out. Oh, God Almighty. If oh, I were you, I would be already shouting right there. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. Yes, Lord Jesus. We are so excited for the anointing that is here. Yes, Lord. It is this anointing that we need that the yokes can you, be Jesus. broken. Yes, Lord Jesus. And they will be broken. Yes, Lord Jesus. We need this anointing, God, to lift up burdens. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the presence of your anointing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. To yes, make Jesus. preaching easy and teach it. Yes, Lord. And if you believe that, shout it, amen. How do you say, well, it's amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I, I wish to take time this morning just to teach a little bit. Uh, and, and I know that we are heading celebration hereafter. But I want you to bear with me. And, and let's see where we'll end. Maybe we'll have to continue next week. The Bible declares to us very clearly that the fourth thing that God restored when he restored the chaotic earth that was destroyed by Lucifer. Hallelujah. 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 Because Genesis chapter number one, verse number one says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Full stop. But verse number two tells us that somebody came and confuse that which God created. Because whatever God does is perfect and is whole. God never does anything that is imperfect. But then when we come to verse number two, we find the earth without shape, formless, and we realize that somebody came in and destroyed that which God created. But right there, because God is omnipotent, He is all-powerful, He is omnipresent, He is present everywhere, he he is omniscient. He is all knowing. Whenever he creates a thing, he puts together the checks and balances that should anything happen, what will I do to redeem and restore that which I have created? Oh God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad that I serve that awesome God. Oh God I'm glad that I serve that kind of God. The God that will not be sitting somewhere <laughs> on a heap of ashes, <laughs> scratching his head, not knowing what to do. I serve the God that knows exactly what to do when. And he's never caught off guard. So he begins to restore his creation. And he spoke when he was 
restoring. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory. And that we are going to talk about it quickly. Which are the seasons that emanate from the lights. God then spoke rise into being. And said, let there be lights. Oh God Almighty. Because we are told that the earth was in darkness. Darkness. Oh God, it was confusion everywhere. And then God spoke right into being. And the Bible says He spoke three lights. The Bible says He commanded the first light to rule over the day. And the second light to rule over the night. Now then we need to understand this. That a season then by description it's any four main periods of the year and we call them spring, summer, autumn, and winter in this great country. Hallelujah. 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 But yes, what is interesting, God is saying to us, I have determined this season for this particular reason. Because the season emanates from the light. I've commanded the season then to determine the happenings, the activities. So each and every activity that is happening is determined by seasons. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Even in our world, we will be saying now it's a rat season. Now it's a cricket season. Now it's a festive season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're talking about off-season and peak season. Ah. But the mind of God, ah, when he brought the season into being, ah, he was bringing them into being ah, so as to complete the cycle of nature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, therefore, seasons are important to us. I want to lay this foundation so that you understand when we declare a new season. And I heard them singing here and saying it's a new season. It's a season of power, it's a season of prosperity. I came to declare to you that we have come into a new season. The season of the new beginnings. It will depend on you whether you are going to declare it. Because when you declare it, the light will shine on your path. Oh, glory. I am Mando Bohosha. Thank you, Jesus. God made them to complete the cycle of nature. That number three, the dealings of God are seasonal. He said to Moses. Says Moses, Moshe. the season was number one, then divide the day from the night. In other words, uh, your 
prayer can be divided. Oh God Almighty, from your night by seasons. Oh God Almighty, that is why David knew that when he woke up in the morning in Psalm 118, verse number 24, he said, This is the day that the Lord has made in this day. I will rejoice and I will be glad. In other words, David, as a king, as a prophet, who also operated in the priesthood office, he was saying, I now know that as a king, I can decree a thing and it shall be so. I heard him saying, you are kings and you are priests unto God because you are washed by his blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now if you are a king, put your hands together and give him praise. If you are a priest, put your hands together and give him praise. Now kings are, kings are not just speaking. Kings makes declarations. Uh, uh, that's kings. They make declarations. When the king says you must be killed, before you know it, you will be executed. It's a decree that the king is saying. The king's utters decrease. The priests, they sit on the altar to make petitions and prayers on behalf of the people. And if the priests understand what he's doing because of the officer that is in, whatever he tells God on behalf of the people, God can unto that voice. That is why the Bible says we have a high priest Oh God Almighty, oh, yes. who has been touched oh, uh, by way. our infirmities. They understand our infirmities. Oh God Almighty. Oh, yes, so he's able then to intercede for us. Oh God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. With feelings. With groanings. That cannot be uttered. Jesus. As our high priest. Is petitioning for you. Is mediating for you. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's your advocate. Speaks on your behalf. So you are a priest. And you are the king. For your seasons to change. You must decree. Oh yes Lord Jesus. Number two. It says Moses. Seasons. They give light on earth. They give light on earth. So in other ways, if you need light in your life, light is the absence of darkness. Darkness is associated with defeat. It's associated with the devil. It's associated with confusion. It's associated with diseases. It's associated with demons because Satan is the prince of darkness. The prince. The prince. The prince. Hosan, yes. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, when you declare a thing, light comes into place. It comes into alignment with that which you are saying for the manifestation. 
says, therefore, the seasons are to give light on earth. Can I submit to you? The first earth is you. That is why when you read Habakkuk chapter number 2, verse number 14, the vision of the house says, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God, just as the waters cover the sea. Which earth is that one? It is you. So in other words, if you want to live in the seasons of God, if you want to experience uh, the new beginning, the season of power and prosperity, you need to declare it. You need to take your rightful position. That is why Job says, when you declare a thing, it shall be established. And light will come. You will be able to see the manifestation of the thing that you are decreeing. I wonder if I've got believers in this house. If you believe that word of the Lord, shout hallelujah. Shout praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number three, the seasons, they rule the day. They rule the night. Oh, yes. I came to declare to you uh, <laughs> that your day uh, <laughs> is not ruled uh, <laughs> from the cabinet house. Uh, <laughs> it is not ruled from Cape Town. Uh, <laughs> it's not ruled from the union building. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, your day uh, <laughs> is ruled uh, <laughs> by the season. <laughs> there is a and the Bible says it's the greater light that rules the day. Now God is asking Job. He says, Job, when you woke up, have you commanded your morning? Have you commanded your morning? Have you give instruction for the day spring? In other words, when you wake up, up in the morning. Uh, 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 you uh, don't just wake up like a frog. Uh, uh, when you wake, you wake up in the morning, uh, 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 you wake up like a king. Uh, uh, you wake up like a priest. Uh, 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 you are telling your morning. Uh, uh, you say morning. Uh, wake up. Uh, pay spring. Uh, get to work. Uh, and the Bible says uh, you are like instructing them uh, to get a hold uh, of the four edges of the earth, the east, the west, the north, the south, like a blanket to shake out wickedness, to shake it out like a cockroach, but it can fall down. Because when you are asleep, there were witches and wizards that were proclaiming the moon. Oh, yes. You know your father of faith, Abraham. Abraham. Before he met God, he was a worshiper of the moon. He was waking up in the morning and telling the moon and say, moon, strike my enemies. Moon, that one I don't like. So therefore, I command you to bring disaster upon her upon him. He will say, moon, give me fertility. Moon, give me children. Moon, protect me. Moon, be with me. But when he met God, he realized that he was in idolatry. There is someone who is greater than the moon. His name is the bright. 
and the morning star. If you know him, shout hallelujah. If you know him, put your hands together. Give him Oh, yes. Oh yes, Lord Jesus. I am a ketali abando. I don't know how you wake up. I, I wake up in the morning. I say, Satan, you might have been giving me some nightmares. But I refuse those dreams to come to pass in my life. I say, bright in the morning star. Wake up now. I say, my day spring. Get to work now. Hold the four edges of the earth. In whatever direction, but wickedness will come. I scatter it by the bright and the morning star. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Listen to me, please. The Bible says, Jesus is the bright. Right, and it's the morning star. Because Satan, Lucifer, Lucifer, was called a morning star. So, in other words, Satan, Satan, with a distorted anointing, he still proclaims your morning. It's a morning star. That is fallen. But I came to church this morning. That as we come into the new beginning, as we come into the new season, there is a brighter and a morning star. But you need to speak to her early in the morning. That's why we have the Ziba here. That's why we have the Ziba. So that the priest could stand in the gap. And begin to declare and say over Shakaina Tebenakala, over the city of Beulah, we arrest the criminals, we arrest the robbers, we arrest, we arrest unemployment, we arrest poverty. That is why there are priests in the house. I am a shatelab. Oh glory. I came to ask you <laughs> that you can enlist. Because you are supposed to do that. Or else you live a fluctuating life. Today you are happy. Tomorrow you are sad. You are sour. Why? Because you don't know. That you, Proverbs 18:21, says the power of death and life are in your tongue. So when you wake up, you need to choose what you want in your life. If you need death, you cannot do anything. Just fold your arms like a pope and walk around. And if you need life and life more abundantly, you need to tell that devil, I'm awake. Give me a break. I'm just going to brush my teeth. I'm coming to you. My ketali abando Hey, God Almighty, that God is raising us in this season that will come into the new season. If that is you, put your hands together. Give him praise. Says there's a greater light. That rules the day. There is a lesser light that rules the night. God has always made it. But whatever is associated with darkness, it will be lesser. So that is why, as a child of God, we have no excuse to walk back. 
bend that. No, 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 no. no, no. When you understand the power of the greater light, you can begin to talk to the moon and say, Moon, I command you, whatever evil human entities have covenanted with you in the night, whatever satanic altars the priest have proclaimed in you I'm arising by the liquid fire of God to scatter that which they proclaim verse number 13 says your son Job 38, verse 38. Job 38, verse number 13. It says, when you command your money, when you instruct your day spring, the sun will arise. It will arise with its lights. In other words, when they thought you are going down in the pit of Satan, you will see the pit and you will jump. They will ask themselves what happened. There was a son of righteousness that came upon you with healing in his wings. Says the sun will arise over you. And number two, it says, when that sun arises, it will come forth in their colors. Oh my God. God is saying to you, when you know how to proclaim your season, I, I will decorate your life. Oh my God. I will decorate your life. You will live a life that is decorated. I will decorate your life. I wonder if there are people here that understand decoration. If you are that person, shout a hallelujah. God is saying to you, in this new season, I'm in to decorate your life. I'm come to decorate your life. Says number three, I'll give shape to your life. In other words, you will not live a shapeless life, a shapeless marriage, a shapeless relationship. No, 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 no. And I will give shape to your ministry. I will give shape to your career. I will give shape in your relationships. I will give shape in your marriage. Now if you are that person, shout I receive we are coming into a new season. We are coming into a new season. We are coming into a new season. And God is saying, You must be created. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number 8, verse number 4, it says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. In other words, what your decree has got power. You are waiting for intercessors to pray for you. You are waiting for your prayer pastors to pray for you. You might be, you might be, you might be waiting too long. You need to arise. Because in your way, there is power. There is power. It doesn't matter where you are. Hezekiah. Zekiah. was on his sick bed. <laughs> the prophet <laughs> Isaiah came <laughs> in the book of Isaiah chapter number 38. <laughs> when he stepped <laughs> in, <laughs> he said, O oh, king, <laughs> God has instructed me <laughs> to tell you <laughs> that you are about to die. <laughs> Get your house in order. <laughs> the sickness <laughs> that is upon you <laughs> is going to kill you. <laughs> on his death 
better. Hezekiah. Hezekiah. Yeah. But he has got power. He said to the prophet, Thank you, you can go. He turned to the wall. And he said, Lord, remember how I walked before you. Remember how I lived. Remember what I've done. I've obeyed your voice. I've carried out your instructions. Remember me, Lord. And the Bible says, God instructed Isaiah the prophet in the courtyard. Says, go back, go back, go back, go back. When he went back, he said to him, Key, God has sent me to say he has heard your prayer. He will give you 15 years extra. Oh Give him hand. Give him the best praise in the house. Give him the best praise in the house. Give him the best praise in this 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 house. He can hearken unto your voice. Oh yes. Can hearken unto your voice. I came to talk to mamas here. Married to women. That your husband cannot continue to live in that way. And your mouth is shut. No. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You are a king. And you are a priest. Come to talk to parents here. Your children cannot continue to live in that way. And you are quiet. No. If Hezekiah could have changed the situation that was too adverse, what about you? That is living in the new covenant. Oh, yes, Lord. Hey, God. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that the Holy Spirit will put aggression in your spirit. Will put aggression in you. I hear him saying from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God is suffering by Violence, but the violent they are taking it back by force. Are you that violent? Are you that Aumutotahao? Copania de Atamo Fetoris. Give him praise in the house of the Lord. Mofetoris. I have prayed. And I said, Lord, I need a violent spirit. I'm tired. I'm tired by status quo. I need some violent spirit in whatever I'm doing. If I give, I want to give violently. If I pray, I want to pray violently. If I preach, I must preach violently. When I teach, I must teach violently. I don't know about you, but Satan he is violent. If you are going to be a CC, they will swallow you and neutralize your salvation. I came this morning to say, Arise from your ashes. Your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is arisen upon you. Arise! The earth is covered with darkness and great darkness, the people of God. But the Lord is saying, I will arise. Over you, when you will declare, when you will declare, right, will arise over you. One testimony. Maybe I will close. We complete this next week. A woman looked at me. I was not looking for money. 
I was just busy doing what I was doing. And she looked at me. And she went to Mamuruti. She said, Mamuruti, God has just spoken to me. Mamuruti said, what? So I must give that man 10,000. Give me his bank account. I know you cannot clap now. You clap tomorrow. When you become aggressive in your giving, when you become aggressive in your tithes, the spirit of money will be around you. The spirit of wealth will be around you. Money will look for you. Must ask yourself, why is money running away from me? Why is it running away from me? It's because you are running away from it. Why is it running away from Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Before I knew it, there was a 10,000 land in my in account. account. Praise the Lord. And I went on again. And I went on again. I said, I'll give my time. I'll give my offering. Oh God Almighty. I'll give my thanksgiving offering. I say, oh Lord. I will go out again. And so. In your altar. On your altar. Because I now know. The technology that makes money come to you. Be aggressive in your giving. I declare to you and I submit to you if you are not going to be aggressive, Satan is aggressive. He promised people wealth. Because if you can give me a heart of a child, I will give you this wealth. And they go around killing children. And you are seated here. And God has given you a technology. God has given you a system of how to make wealth attracts you. No, 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 no. Eh, eh, Can I submit to you? It's not a money-making scheme. It's a system of God. God said, give. It shall be given back to you. Huh? Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Shall men give unto your bosom. Oh, no, when I learned that system, I said bye-bye to poverty. The poverty bye -bye. I'm no longer a friend to you. No. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. With all humbleness. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't give people two lands on the street. I get some for about the two No. I know that if I will have pity on the poor, I am lending to God and God will pay it back to me. When I take out the money, I, I said, God, can, can I lend you this amount? I need it back. And I give it to him. Because I've seen it. But Jeremiah chapter number one. Verse number 12. Says I watch over my word. To perform it. I don't know which way are you listening to. I don't know who you are listening to. But I came to say to you, there is a God in heaven who absorbs his word above his name. I want to close. I'll continue next week. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord God. Lift up your hands to heaven. I want you to understand this morning that God, God, God has made two lights to control your season. He says, 
that light that rules by day will be for your days and your years. But the light that rules in the night will be for your months and your seasons. Are God has set in place a redemptive system that can redeem you where you are now. Where you are is not your end. God is saying this morning, forget the things that have happened in the past. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. It's about to spring forth. 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 I'm expecting the miraculous. I'm expecting the breakthroughs. I'm expecting the deliverances. I'm expecting the healings. Because God has said that. I believe that. And it settles everything. If you are a bad person, I want you to pray quickly. Pray quickly. Talk, to your, quickly. Talk to your God quickly. Talk to your God. And say, Father, I've come into a new season. I will do whatever it takes to bring into manifestation my new season. It should be a season of power. It must be a season of revelation. It must be a season of prosperity. It must be a season of healing. It must be a season of restoration. Pray, 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 pray. I'm tired to go around Kadesh Pania. I'm tired to go around this mountain. I am tired. I'm about to move out. I'm about to arise. I heard your word. It's a new season. It's a new season. If you embrace it, put your hands together and give him the praise. Give him the praise in the house of the Lord. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. I to take this time to welcome the worshippers on the stage. Because I want to take this time to pray with you and for you. All over that are listening. There's broadcast from your social media platform. I want to pray with you. If you are out there, you are saying, I don't know the God of Caesars. In Luke chapter number one, from verse number 76 to 79, it says, a day spring will visit and he will bring salvation unto his people. If you are that person out there that needs prayer, I, I want you to follow me in this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, my day spring, come into my life. Be my bright and my morning star. So that your light can take away darkness in my life. Can take away defeat in my life. Can take away discouragement in my life. I embrace you as my Lord, as my Savior. Thank you that you are the pride and the morning star. Live in my heart. Live in my soul. Thank you. Amen. Amen.
and amen. Amen. If you're out there, you, you also need to accept the Lord. You need this prayer. You can come to the altar. We can pray for you. You cannot risk your life to live on this planet earth of darkness without light. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. So if you are out there, you need him, you are a backslider, you need to slide back, you can stand wherever you are and just walk to the altar and pray with you quickly. So that the bride the morning star can come into your life. The days can come into your life. When he comes in, he expels darkness. John says darkness could not comprehend him. Darkness cannot overpower light. If you're that person, I want to pray with you quickly. Follow me in this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive my sins. I open my heart. Come and dwell inside. And be my bright and morning star. Be my son of righteousness. With healing in your wings. Heal my backsliding ways. I thank you. That you have heard this prayer. And you've accepted me. I'm your child. I'm born again. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. Give him praise. The counselors will help us out to help you, sir. If you are listening on our social media platform you can get engaged in a faith believing or five or faith believing church as you get into that bible believing church that teaches the word of god get engaged in it so that you can grow in the grace and in the knowledge of the light. So that the bright and the morning star will continue to brighten your life. God richly bless you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to take this time right now just to release a blessing over the viewers that view this program. I decree that the Lord will bless you. And the Lord will keep you. I decree and I declare that the face of the Lord will shine upon you. And God will deal with your affairs in his grace. I, I decree and I declare that the countenance of the Lord will be lifted up in your direction. And you will experience the shalom of the Lord. There shall be nothing missing. There shall be nothing broken. There shall be nothing lacking in your life. I declare that only goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the presence of your bright and your morning star. If you receive it, put your hands together and give him praise wherever you are. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. Brother, give over to the worshipers to see. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing. Hey. 
is coming my way. Oh, it's a new season. Hey, Jesus. It's a new day. Restoration is coming my way. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new day. Fresh and old. 